Welcome back from the break. Now, Ghana could end the importation of rice in two years as the Jospon Group partners investors from Thailand to establish rice farms in all 16 regions of Ghana. The partnership will also witness the establishment of a rice milling plant and an organic fertilizer hub to feed the industry. The value of rice import rate rose from 151 million US dollars in 2007 to 1.16 billion dollars in 2020, a development responsible for the pressure on the city. Now at a Jubilee House to announced the partnership, the chief executive of Solid Adjustment Group, Joseph Xiao e Japan, said venturing into rice production needs skills and technical knowledge to increase yields. Thus, they need to woo investors with the right experience and mechanical assets into Ghana. Before we get on, on to Zoom to have some discussion on the initiative, this is chief executive of Solid Adjustment Group, Joseph Xiao e Japan, spelling out details of the initiative to the president. Exam. Through the assistant of the solicitor that the equipment that we want to purchase from them, how do we get the financing? Your Excellency, it might interest you to know that they are ready to give us a facility of about 160 million dollars. And so, as we speak now, Dr. Sita have brought 20 Thailand guys people here with manufacturers that are going to facilitate it up and to help them. This morning, we went to the Minister of Finance and is ready to support with any kind of form of assistance to do that. Then, we have a business forum in Thailand, and then we establish a company called Asian African uh, Corporation that will facilitate all these logistics and the personnel that are coming here to support us. And then we sign MOUs with companies there, and then they have come down. Now, work we have done since we came from 26 November, we've met with our idea that the whole country, we are going to grow rice. So from the northern to the southern part, so we are developing 16 teams, so 16 Thailand teams to work with the agro-west and farmers to grow. Now we're joined on Zoom by Dr. Lawrence Champon of the Department of Agricultural Economics and Extension at the University of Cape Coast. Doc, grateful that you could join us, sir. Um, first of all, what's your impression of this idea to bring in people who are experienced and can help us achieve our goal of eliminating uh, rice importation in the next two years. Thank you. Um, I think uh, that is a brilliant idea. Um, as we all know, rice has become a staple in Ghana, and any attempt to grow what we eat instead of um, importing, I think is a, a very good idea in the first place. Mm. So, the idea itself about bringing in investors, how do we ensure that it inures to the benefit of local farmers and players in the value chain in the country? All right. Thank you very much. Um, if I listen to um, Jospon, the, the CEO of Jospon Group of Company, um, the discussion that he was having, my um, understanding is that this is going to be a joint venture between just one group of companies and then um, Thailand investors. If that is going to be the case, I think um, that will be a good idea. Mm. However, if these companies are going to be fully um, Thailand-owned or Thai companies, then that is where there's a problem. Because in this case, we will be solving one problem and then there will be another problem. What do I mean by this? If we are bringing these investors, our aim is that we want to cut rice importation. And if we are going to produce more rice here in Ghana, definitely it is going to have um, a positive impact on the balance of payment of the country. However, if these companies are purely foreign owned, what will happen is that by our investment laws, International companies are not bound by any law. In fact, they are supposed to repatriate 100% of their profit home. And where they live, they don't use Ghana cities. What it means is that they, there will be pressure. The, what we want to avoid, okay, pressure for maybe getting dollars to go and import the rice. This time around, the rice will be produced, but the investors will now have to exchange 
their money into dollars and then repatriate this profits back home. So if we want to benefit, then we need to look at this partnership and probably try to see our investment law and see how it is going to be such that these companies won't be allowed to repatriate their full 100% uh, profit, probably 70 or even 60%, so that the remaining will be here. If not, in the long run, the pressure on the city that we are trying to avoid won't happen. And as I initially said, if it is going to be a joint a partnership between the uh, just one group of companies and then these Thai companies, that one we are sure that the part of the profit that is in your to just one group of companies as a Ghanaian company is going to be with us. But I will also say that <clears throat> in other not because as we speak, we already have some rice processing uh, um, um, plants across the country. Probably we should try to woo these ones also into the agreement so that they all become part of the partnership. And if that happens and we have more Ghanaian in this partnership, probably owing the majority shares in these companies, then Ghana is in to reap a lot from it. But if the foreign companies are going to have much own, then I, I don't think that will really help us as a country. Mm. Doc, I'm grateful that you could find time to join us. Dr. Lawrence Achampon is a lecturer at the Department of Agricultural Economics and Extension at the University of Cape Coast.